Hi. In all our previous units, we learnt about the basic operations of an operating system, starting from processes, their execution, multi-process environment, multi-threaded environment, memory management, secondary storage management, and specifically important for this unit, we found that secondary storage also requires some sort of protection. Extending that idea further, we see that while a computer system needs to be designed in such a way that its performance is not hampered by its working, its execution, programs should share memories without corrupting it, there should be consistency, concurrency. File system should not get affected by various users. Programs should not overwrite files of each other. Users should not be allowed to overwrite files written by other users. In all of these, we find a common underlying theme that the performance of a computer system is also dependent on its protection. How well have we designed the system such that one aspect of the computer system does not affect the other aspect of computer system. But in all of this, we have not considered one agent in context of computer system which can severely affect the performance or the working of a computer system. That is the external agent. It could be a user, it could be a software, it could be anything that is designed to hamper the working of a computer system. When we think of such human agents, we loosely term them as hackers. When we look at software agents which do this, we loosely term them, the, them as viruses or worms. The underlying principle still remains the same. That is, each computer system needs to protect itself from external agencies which might try by design, by intention to harm its working. All the key resource, all the key resources in an operating system should be protected in such a way that they do not allow such external agencies to affect it. Now, every computer system is open to external threats. Whenever you access a network, you are accessing a world of potential threats. Whenever a person has physical access to your machine, you are welcoming potential threats. In view of the goals of, a, of an operating system, which is to allow a user to perform his duty or perform his tasks without any disturbance or without any problems or One of the primary purposes of an operating system is to allow the user to use the computer to do his task without loss of data, without loss of performance and with complete confidence that whatever he is doing will be done as per specifications, that is without any external agency affecting his work. In view of this goal, we have to come up with measures within the operating system framework which prevent external agencies to affect anything that is going on within the computer system. External human agents should be allowed to access the computer system only when they are properly authenticated. 
any external threat which could be a external program which could be external human being any external threat should be handled by making sure that it is not doing something that it is not supposed to do every process that is executed should be executed with proper authentication every user that logs on to a system should be should be logged in with proper authentication without any threat to any other process or any other user on the system in this unit what we will primarily see is the solution or the aspects of operating system to this particular problem which is that of pro uh, protection and security of the operating system itself now each uh, user needs to be authenticated each program needs to be authenticated with enough confidence that it does not affect anything else this is where the ideas of encryption ideas of authentication of hashing and various other protection measures which are mostly dealt with in cryptography these come in because now we need to protect our communication we need to protect our identities and we more more importantly we need to protect our processes so we will see the use of cryptography in computing in con, uh, in context of an operating system we will also see various counter measures that an operating system can have in view of his, these threats whether they are human threats or software threats so in summary in this unit we will be discussing with various aspect of operating system which deal with the protection of user data and security of the operating system of the computer system itself